Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, today I wanted to go ahead and share with you my finished pieces from the May curated bead box that was called Spring Blooms. Now I'm still waiting on my June box. Um, I've seen a lot of unboxing videos already and when I checked my tracking number it actually is in my town at my post office as of today so I'm hoping I should be getting it delivered tomorrow so I thought well while I'm waiting on that to get here I'll go ahead and share real quick what I made from the May box and just as a quick reminder for anyone who may not have seen other people's videos on this box um, there's a lot of really pretty spring florals and just pretty um, spring collars and the silver peacock bookmark um, some feather charms in here and just a lot of really pretty collars that I had to work with so let me go ahead and this is what I have to share so let me move this out of the way I can get my chair up from behind me okay so I'll show real fast what I still have left over now in this month's box they included these really pretty organza baggies and this real like a turquoise a hot pink and this gorgeous purple so they have those three bags um, if I was going to like gift any of these items to someone. I had a little bit left of these um, green and I love this color of, of blue. It's a gorgeous blue. Um, this I think was called like team colors beads. It was this pretty yellow. Um, these sort of mottled looking beads. Um, just turquoise white green kind of variegated bead and then I did not use I don't think I used any I might use some of the findings pack and then this really pretty now this is called like a purple collar but it's very well it doesn't really look super purple in person and definitely not on camera but it's sort of like maybe a periwinkle like a blue purple so that's all that I have left out of that entire box so I think I did pretty well in using up this these items. Now I'm going to save my favorite piece for last and I'll go ahead and share. Now with this box I did happen to, I did manage to incorporate a lot of my own stash items with these beads. So it's not 100% just curated bead box um, projects here. Now this necklace here, I had these little um, like coin beads that I believe they were from Joann's uh, but they have these really pretty floral print on them. They're like ceramic and it's just gorgeous um, rose patterns. And so I pulled the um, that real pretty uh, sort of a light turquoise with this um, green textured bead. And I just put it on some bead stringing wire and just used a simple lobster clasp on it. And so that was a real fun little necklace that I made. And um, I have had these for a while, and I just hadn't really bothered pulling them out yet, but I knew that they would match perfectly with these beads. So I decided to go ahead and use this kit to um, use up those little coin beads. <clears throat> and this right here is one of my very favorites. So this is probably, I'm surprised, and people will be surprised that this isn't my absolute favorite <laughs> necklace that I made out of this box um, because of the collar. Um, there were a, there was a long strand of these um, like of these floral beads here. Let me see what those are actually called. Those are called they're eighteen. Let me see here. Um, okay, I'm not finding it on here. I know it's on there. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's the eighteen millimeter collar dyed turquoise flower charm it's a, it was a 16 inch um, strand and it had a lot of flowers on there in all different colors there was like red and green yellow turquoise like a hot pink there was some orange and then um, this purple and like a creamy like off-white um, so I took the all the white and purple together um, I think there were three of each of these I don't see any more of the purple yeah this I used it all on these on this necklace and then I took these clear beads and just ran up the side and then made one little dangle here with a purple pearl and one of the clear beads. 
and I am in love with this necklace. I mean, it is, I think it's gorgeous because it is my favorite colors. Um, well, purple, of course. Uh, absolutely in love with this necklace. But there is one more necklace I made that I am over the top in love with, and I will show that at the very end. Um, but this one is a very close, very close second to being my favorite. And there is some weight to this, so it is quite hefty. Um, but I absolutely love this necklace. I love how it looks with having all these clear beads up the side with just this like focal section down here. Absolutely gorgeous. So I put that to the side. And here is just a little fun bracelet that I made with those sort of, I'll call them like periwinkle beads because they're sort of purple. But I had this little, I had a strand of beads that just were these um, like, just a variety of painted ceramic beads and this one was a dark dark gray with almost that same bluish purple little spots on it and so it went perfect with those beads and I just used some of these spacers that I get at Hobby Lobby they're by Metal Gallery and they're very chunky I love how thick and like um, sturdy they are and they thought they weren't went perfect this is actually about the third design I had come I had done it a couple different times before just really never liked it so then this was the third time of me restringing it and I really happened to like with just putting one of the beads and then the silver spacer because the spacer didn't want to fit it didn't want to sit really nicely like right against this um, focal bead but when I put the purple one first and then the spacer and the rest of my purplish purple blue beads then it really like laid nicely <clears throat> and this is a probably about a six and a half inch bracelet um because my wrist is like between i can wear anywhere from six and a half up to seven but this is kind of snug which i love i like snug bracelets because i don't like them to move around on my wrist so there is that bracelet which i love here is one this is another one of those painted beads that was on that strand and this i took this whole um, amount I had these left left over from the purple and, and cream necklace and I had this number of the purple ones left I used one two three four five six of the yellow to make the right length for me and then just a couple of clear little spacer beads <clears throat> I've had some jumbo um, daisy spacers in my stash and then I just hung this cute little flower charm and I've been watching a lot of Brittany Shavers lately. She's Turquoise Street here on YouTube. And she does a lot of like putting colors together that I wouldn't normally think to put together. And also doing like asymmetrical designs. So I was watching a lot of her videos recently and I decided to make it make this bracelet. And I really, really love how it turned out. I just put a bead cap on the end of each purple one. And I really love how that yellow kind of pulls out the yellowy gold in the purple and black painted bead. I think it turned out really, really cute. And I just liked this dangle to kind of separate. Just kind of added that nice little touch to the bracelet. I love that bracelet there. And here, for some reason, I haven't trimmed my elastic off of this one yet. Um, I took the th uh, three of the yellow flower beads and just put some of the turquoise and these little like multi-colored turquoise beads and just made a fun turquoise and yellow bracelet which those are colors that I don't normally put together but I had was inspired again by Brittany and that is one of the bra another bracelet that I made um, let me see and these earrings here I, I guess they kind of could go with that bracelet um, the turquoise with that little yellow bead at the top and the little um, feather charms at the bottom I think those are super adorable earrings and that is what it looks like up close super super cute another Brittany inspiration piece there and then these I had one green and one red flower bead left over when I got to the end of my creating with that box and so I took a red and a green and just kind of alternated um, uh, just to make fun little mismatched earrings. Well, they kind of match, but they don't 
So I think they turned out really, really cute. That's what they look like. Just a fun way to use up the last of my fire beads. And I'll show these other two earrings here. Actually, these aren't earrings. These are just, um, I had two of the pink flowers left. So I just made these little, um, they could be like necklace dangles. Um, I used some of the beads, just made a little bead dangle there with the pink flowers and just added my last leaf charm on that one. So I've already got this ready to just go on like a, a jump ring and attach it onto some kind of project, if like a necklace or a bookmark or a keychain or something. So those are just some little charms. And I'll show what I did with the, um, this is what came in the kit, a peacock feather bookmark. And I just took a lot of the collars that I really like together and just made a really long beaded strand with a feather at the end. So I made this really cool looking bookmark. And then for my favorite, favorite piece of all, I have, let me go ahead and show this first piece real fast. I had this pendant that I found at Hobby Lobby. Love the size of it, how chunky it is. Love all the gorgeous collars. It's like a painted floral design. And then from Walmart, I found a strand of these really cool connectors. And it was like $3, maybe like $3.97. And there were, I think, four on here because I haven't used any more of them. I just took the one off. Just like the design of that. And so then I just took all of these pretty beads. And now I used some beads that also were from my stash. I have sort of a floral design to the beads. And just randomly placed beads on my bead board in between each of these flowers. And use those chunky spacers and I love how this turned out so it's kind of long for what I usually will make it is 19 inches long but it's a very chunky necklace not too heavy but I love this focal down at the bottom love how that hangs if I had a small enough bead if I find something I may try to do a little tiny dangle inside that loop there but I don't really think that it has to have it. <clears throat> and then at the end, I just finished it off with the chain and the clasp there. And love how that turned out. Let me get this right here so it'll show up a little bit better on the camera. Move this bookmark out of the way. And then here is the necklace that I am absolutely in love with. I just love those flower... Um, large flower they're called charms on the box but I just call them beads um I could do so many things with those because they're so I just like how chunky they are and all the pretty collars let me try to move it up a little bit oh shoot taking the camera stand apart <laughs> okay there we go move it up just a little bit let's see how this is what it would look like when it's hanging down Really, really love how that ended up turning out. So that is what I was able to make between stash items and the May curated bead box. So thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Please comment down below which your favorite piece would be. I absolutely love this necklace. And, of course, my purple flower necklace is a close second. Or it could be a tie for first. I really love both of them. And these earrings, I think, turned out really, really cute with the feather charms hanging from the bottom. Everything, I think, turned out really adorable. And like, I love, I'm in love with this bracelet here. So that is what I have, what I made last month with the May Curated Bead Box. And hopefully my June box will be here tomorrow and I can start playing with that. And I'll talk to everyone next time. See you in the next video. Bye.